Hello, my friends. Greetings from the eruption site, from the volcano in Iceland. It's 1.35 in the night and it's still very bright as you see. And here you see the moon, Mount Kaler, the extant craters and the ongoing eruption. We can come very close to the volcano. It's 200 meters. And there is a big crowd here at 1.35 in the night. In Iceland it's bright as you know, it's polar night. We don't really have a night in the summertime. And here is the real wonderland. You see this is the lava that was erupting flowing here yesterday. You saw it even in my videos. Now it's all cold. Very curly. Ah, our lava flow. It's all you see mosses burning somewhere in between. Smells weird. Weird smell. Well, what is exploding here? It's the gases. Gases, my friends. Somewhere the lava is hot, but all the lava is going south. South from the volcano into the bathtub, into that sand valley that you saw in my previous drone videos. Uh, it's uh, kind of strange. Most people don't know that it's possible to come here next to the volcano because there is this fog wall, the, the smoke wall, just 300 meters away. And here close to the volcano there is no smoke. It's really the best place to be because if you go further away, you hit the smoke and you suffocate there. Well, you don't feel good. But here next to the volcano, no smoke. Kind of strange. And that's why there are some people here. Actually, I didn't know. I didn't know it's possible to come so close. Was some tourists told me, this drone pilot, he brought me here. And I'm kind of surprised. I'm shocked actually how close you can come to the vent. And all the activity is concentrated in this cone that you see, which is getting bigger and bigger. It's growing like a mushroom. And not by days, just by hours, literally getting bigger and bigger. The old vents to the north didn't last long. Some 12 hours or so. I don't know exactly when they went exit, maybe when I was sleeping after the first trip. But you could see them. We, we managed to catch them yesterday in, in my drone videos. People are really enjoying it here right next to the van. I saw some people sitting on the chairs here, you know. Some are just laying down. Here is the noise the volcano makes. This terrible noise. Like a machine. Like a train, train noise. And those smashing of lava on the walls. Big junks of molten rock are, are flying from the volcano and just smashing down, look. Boom! It's, a, it's incredible, incredible scene to observe. And being here is really special. It's very outworldish. These are no words to describe this. I 
can't believe I'm on Earth. Wow. Lava doesn't shoot uh, more than uh, next to the crater walls. It's a uh, very regular uh, activity. Or orderly activity, not chaotic, it's just in one spot, in one way. Mount Kaler, the pyramid mountain of Iceland, very well seen from Reykjavik on a clear day. Colors are more orange. This pinkish color is not the real color. Color. There's more orange color in this, but that's how Samsung transmits the color. But but it's very close to the real one. Very close. But there is more orange yellow uh, in the real <coughs> volcano. The lava. Get closer to the volcano because there is less less smoke there. The further you walk from the volcano, the more smoke is there. Here is the best.
Something going on there, I saw lava splashing out there. All the lava is going down into the valley next to Kistufet.